After Saturday's Merseyside derby was postponed due to adverse weather conditions from Storm Dara, the most likely date for the rescheduled game is thought to be the week of the 17th of February 2025. Those details have emerged today. It will mean in the if that was the date that was chosen in the space of a few days, Everton would entertain Liverpool at Goodison Park, followed by Manchester United on the weekend. Uh, obviously, really disappointing that the game was cancelled at the weekend. Uh, we had Nathan Hamlin in last week who flew over from Australia for the game. There was another couple of uh, Evertonians like that, another young lad from Australia and someone who flew over from South Africa. Obviously, when something like that happens... It's gotten for those people, but it was the right decision. The obvious, the adverse weather conditions meant it just wasn't worth taking a chance with that many people around. But like I say, the, the most likely date, according to his stories today, is the week beginning, the 17th of February. And Everton might have some new players by then as well to, uh, to make it a more difficult fixture for Liverpool. Let's hope so anyway. According to reports today, Everton's new prospective owner, Dan Freakin's wealth, grew by £2.9 billion in the last 12 months. Um, apparently, it takes his fortune up to around £9.9 billion. Uh, the Freakin group are thought to be close to completing the takeover of Everton. It's uh, said to be completed within the next seven to ten days. They will become the new owners of Everton Football Club. I think everybody just wants it done now. It's gone on for far too long. Uh, even though this actual process with them this time round, this will be at around 12 weeks if it's next week that it's done, which was which was the figure that was used um, a year ago, wasn't it? Which never was. And this has just gone on for too long. Feels like we've been in purgatory. But hopefully, this time next week, uh, Everton will be owned by the freaking group. And we can put a line under this and start to move forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everton today have been linked with a move for Botafogo striker Igor Jesus. Um, the 23-year-old scored eight goals and had five assists in 30 appearances for Botafogo. Uh, Everton could be in the market for another striker because the reports continually come in for uh, Beto to move back to Italy. Roma at the latest, obviously, has been linked with Juventus and Bologna as well. Uh, the Roma links, listen, they could be lazy links due to the Freakins owning Roma and about to own Everton, who knows? But the story uh, over the weekend has said that Beto has asked his agent to find him a move in January because he's become frustrated with lack of game time at Goodison Park. And if he does go out, Everton will probably want to bring in another striker, albeit they do have Armando Breuer available again now and Yusuf Chimiti is very close to a return. But uh, Igor Jesus is the latest striker to be linked to Everton. And finally, Arsenal and West Ham United are showing a interest in Everton striker Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Both are thought to be in the market for the centre forward Arsenal to strengthen their title challenge in their Champions League campaign. And West Ham, of course, have lost Mikel Antonio. He was involved in a car accident at the weekend and has had an operation today on a broken leg. So he's going to be out for a considerable amount of time. They need a striker as well. Calvert Lewin's contract is up in June. Of course, he's so far refused to sign a new deal at Goodison Park. Everton would be looking for around fifteen to twenty million pounds for the uh, striker to leave in January. And that is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you want to become a Toffee TV Premium member, the link is in the description. The QR code will be on the screen now. And don't forget, it's Christmas jumper week. Get your Christmas jumpers on our store. Get them shipped out immediately. So go on, head over there and get it sorted for this week. See you later.